We are all going through some challenging times. A pandemic, and for Americans, an election whirlwind, or maybe other things in life. So we wanted to give you a break, a chance to step away from the stress and into the wild. I'm Chris Morgan. On this special episode of The Wild, let's take a moment to immerse ourselves in the sounds of nature. My friend Gordon Hempton has spent his life recording the sounds of the natural world, sounds free of human beings and their noise. The natural sounds our species evolved in that we're still connected to. A canyon in the Methow Valley in eastern Washington. The sun will soon peek out from the east. The coming light brings the canyon to life. A new day. There is a hidden order in the cacophony of song. The first birds to sing are usually the ones perched highest in the tree canopy. They are the first to see the sun. The birds lower down join the chorus as the light reaches deeper into the canyon. The dawn chorus is really a musical performance with two or three or twelve separate acts. On this particular morning, another voice joins the chorus. Coyotes. One final call before heading off to sleep, giving the day over to the song of birds. We leave the Methow Valley in eastern Washington state and head to the coast of southern Oregon. Prairie Canyon, an ancient forest. Fog lays heavy among the towering redwoods and hemlocks. A raven calls out. These huge black birds are perfectly suited for the diverse ecosystems of the Pacific Northwest. From dense forests, to alpine slopes, to desert sagebrush, to this moisture-saturated corner of the Oregon coast. A raven's call is complex. Researchers have identified 33 different vocalizations, all based on context and sound and proximity. The whole forest vibrates with the constant rumble of the ocean in the distance.
A breeze sweeps through the trees, carrying fog so dense the moisture drips, rain-like, from the needles. These sounds of the Oregon coast and the Eastern Washington Dawn Chorus were recorded by Gordon Hampton, the sound tracker, and co-founder of Quiet Parks International. You can find more information about Gordon's work at our website, thewildpod.org. The Wild is a production of KUOW in Seattle, and me, Chris Morgan, with support from Wildlife Media. This special edition of The Wild was produced by Jim Gates and Brendan Sweeney, with help from Matt Martin and David Brown. I'm your host, Chris Morgan. Take care of yourselves out there, and don't forget to take a moment to stop and listen. The sounds of nature will heal the soul. <laughs>